Hi, this is Scoggin, and this is a story time with Scoggin, Volume Four. I'll uh, call this one "The Machine and American Rebel." Uh, before we get started, what I do, as I do in all uh, videos, go ahead and uh, crack us open a uh, Lone Star, pour it in the glass, and get started. Then we go ahead and tell the story. Getting a little bit of foam there. When you get foam, it shows an excellent beer. And that's what Lone Star is. Lone Star is an excellent beer. Get started. Uh, what what this video is about is it uh, is about a car. Uh, my brother Sid, back in 1970, bought a, a car called the Machine. It's it's a car what most people don't even know about, but it was made by American Motors. Corporation back in 1970 and they made made the Rambler they made the Matador and they made other uh, uh, vehicles and eventually went out of business but what this video is about is it it's about a, a special car what was in the family and and what it, it's like well, I'll go ahead and tell you. 1970, my, my brother Sid bought the uh, AMC Rebel Machine. Uh, he kept it for several years, and I believe about 1973, he sold it to my brother Armando, and my, my brother Sid bought a 1965 GTO. It was uh, kind of a, a light green, had a black top to it, a convertible top, and that's the car with what he wanted. But my brother uh, took over payments on the uh, Rebel Machine. And if you're not familiar with the Rebel Machine, uh, like I say, it was made by AMC uh, Motors, American Motor Corporation. And the, the weight on this vehicle was uh, 3,650 pounds. The, what's special about this vehicle is there was only 2,326 built. I mean, AMC only put out uh, 2,326 of these throughout the whole world. I mean, so, so that's what made it such a special car. And there was only 500 made with a four-speed Hurst transmission. And my brother had the Hurst transmission. So there was only 500 of them around. The price on the, this back in 1970 was uh, right at $3,475. Had a 390 cubic inch uh, engine in it with a horsepower of 340 and would tack out at 5100 RPMs. The torque was 430 uh, torque with 3600. Go from 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds and a quarter mile in 14.4. So it was a, a fast car. It was a good car. And uh, the thing about it is, is, is I drove it, uh, rode in it, grew up in it, and it was just, to me, this was a car. Uh, my brother Armando, uh, back in 1977, I remember uh, coming home from school, and in the driveway, uh, he had a brand new red, 
1977 Pontiac Formula. If you're not familiar with the Pontiac Formula, they're similar to that of a Trans Am. The only thing with the Trans Ams, it had like the Eagle on it and it had the, uh, like the hood scoop was set up. The Formula had two hood scoops was set up on the hood. And I asked my brother Armando, which, uh, my brother Armando has been in several of my uh, videos. He has since moved to uh, uh, Austin, Texas. That's where he, he retired and moved to Austin, Texas. But uh, me and him spoke today and I uh, believe he might be coming back. So we'll see more of him whenever he gets here. And my brother Sid, he lives in Harlingen, Texas. Uh, but anyway, I asked him, I said, I said, what's this? He said, how do you like my new car? I said, what, uh, what is it? He said, Pontiac Formula. I said, where's the machine? Because I love the machine. I, I drove the machine, I, I rode in it, and uh, used to go to school in it. And he told me, he said, I traded it. I traded the machine for the uh, Pontiac Formula. When he told me that, I was devastated. Because the machine, to me, was better than any car out there. And if I could get my hands on one right now, that's my dream car. And I'll go ahead and, I've got a model of one, what I bought. And I'll go ahead and bring it up closer to show you how it looks. If you've never seen one, it's a red, white, and blue uh, car. And it, like I say, it's the uh, uh, Rebel Machine. And that's the back of it. It's got the, like the stripes. Had the stripes on the side and right here, it says the machine. That's the front of it. And something what's really cool, I don't, I don't think I can get a shot of this, but I'll try is it had the tack, the tachometer, right there on the hood. So it wasn't on the dashboard, it was on the hood, so when you're racing it, you look out and you're looking at the hood, and you can see where you're tacking out on. Just a fantastic car, I mean, this, this is, this right here is my dream car. And, like I say, I drove it, I, rode in it, uh, my brothers owned it, and this is just a, a rare breed, you won't find this no more, and that's what makes it so special, and I wanted to do this video, it just, uh, when I, when I found, th found this one, this model, for Christmas I got my brother one, and I uh, had it wrapped up. I also want to give you a present, but I, I want you to make a promise to me that you'll never, ever get rid of it. And he said, okay. So he opens it up, and it's the Rebel Machine. He told me, he said, you're never going to let me live that down, are you? I said, no, I won't. And uh, it just, you know, Every, everybody wants something different, you know, I, I understand that, but getting rid of a car like this or, or trading it off, I, I don't think that's the way to go. And I disagreed with him. He said that, that it was getting, you know, it was seven years old and all that. Yeah, I understand that. But you had the, only 500 of these was made in the standard shift, and there wasn't but 2,326 of them in the whole uh, world. Why would you want to get rid of a car like that? Well, he did, but anyway, you know, it's, he's my brother, still love him, and uh, everybody makes mistakes. And sometimes we get together and I, we talk and he said, you know, he said, when I traded that in for that formula, he said, 
I did make a mistake. He said, I should have kept the machine. And I said, yep. I said, I agree, you should have kept the machine. But can't cry over spilled milk. But if I ever get a car and I can find one of these, I told him, this is my car. And I've seen them like on eBay and everything. They're going for $60,000 right now. If you can find one, they're about 60000 on up. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting one anytime soon. But from $3,475 to sixty grand, they just improve with age. Well, this is Scoggett. This is the uh, end of uh, story time with Scoggett. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And kind of research this uh, if, if you know you're a car buff you can research it but just to let you know that I rode in this car I drove this car myself I mean it's like you know wow when, when you think back on that time it's like I drove a piece of history and that's that's what makes it so special this is Scoggett uh, Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers and y'all take care.